Nobody wants to see this unfortunate situation. All over the world, people and organizations are trying to develop a perfect system to avoid collision. The research organization of Indian Railways, that is RDSO, recently developed a successful and economical train collision avoidance system or TCAS. Basic features of TCAS include electronic assistance to loco pilots by means of real-time display of signal aspects in pilot's cabin. It mitigates several problems including decreased visibility of signal due to dense fog. Automatic brake application by TCAS provides protection by preventing train to pass signal at danger that is red signal. TCAS prevents any type of collision. If more than one train is on the same track due to human or technical error in operation, even then collision cannot occur. TCAS checks excessive speeds over turnouts or speed restriction zones. If any unsafe situation arises, TCAS is able to generate SOS automatically or manually from station or locomotive. Several trials have been done during last few months and improvement in the system is now quite satisfactory. The technology demonstration of this system was given by RDSO in collaboration with vendor in Rangareddy district of Andhra Pradesh between Namangi and Mantati block section on 16th October 2012. On this occasion, Chairman Railway Board, Member Electrical, DG RDSO, GM South Central Railway, Additional Member Signal and other senior officers were present. Trial was done with two trains with locomotive WAG7. This trial showed excellent results and TCAS proved its efficacy in several tests. TCAS provides movement authority, signal aspects and features of ACD all in one. In train collision avoidance system, several new improvements have been done by RDSO during the last one and a half years. There are several newly designed equipments in TCAS like RFID tag, RFID reader and radio communication. Let us have an overview of the system. This is station 1 and this is station 2 control room. They are provided with radio antenna and radio receivers. They have also GPS antenna and GPS receivers. Both receivers are connected with a CPU which also receives input from interlocking. Tracks are provided with RFID tag on regular intervals. In the base of locomotive, there is RFID reader which pick up track information from RFID tag by radio infill technique. There are other electronic equipments fitted in the locomotive. Let us examine them. Radio antenna and GPS antenna are installed on the roof of the locomotive which gives input to the CPU. An auto brake unit is also connected with the CPU. In fact, every electronic equipment present in the locomotive is connected with the CPU. If required, CPU gives command to auto brake unit and brakes are applied automatically. Tachometer is attached to wheels and thus it is possible to determine the speed of the train. This information too is given to the CPU. In the front portion of the loco pilot's cabin, an important unit is installed, that is DMI or driver machine interface. Display unit which displays several data is a part of DMI. TCAS also uses a radio tower, GPS and a satellite. Recognizing a stop signal, TCAS can apply auto brakes when loco pilot does not apply it in time or becomes unable to apply it. In this trial, TCAS prevented the train to enter block section without line clear, even if advanced starter signal was manipulated as OK. TCAS measured the train length. Logic of this measurement is independent of speed. TCAS did auto brake test. If train length differs appreciably from previously stored length data, it measured fresh auto braking characteristics. 
in case of late clearance of signal tcs releases the brakes applied earlier this prevents fuel consumption and time both tcs can prevent head on collision tcs applies the auto brakes when two trains come closer without support of signaling system train generates sos when loco pilot presses a switch recognizing some urgent situations this sos is able to stop other trains in the vicinity A station unit can also generate sos tcas keeps the speed of train under limit on loop lines tcas successfully prevents rear end collision of two trains tcas is better than european train control system level 1 that is etcs level 1 in few aspects because of radio infill features tcas is not hindering the operation flexibility as in case of late clearance of signal tcas is comparable to etcs level 2 while cost is significantly lower RFID is cheaper and better than Bally's for Indian conditions. TCAS is effective and economical.